Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range now. We're going to do a range comparison with the Walther PDP Performance Duty Pistol versus the FN 509. Both very nice handguns, both enjoy fine reputations, both have four inch barrels. Let's start with the Walther PDP. When they released this, it was a big hit. This is replacing the PPQ, the very loved PPQ. One of the reasons why people love it is because of that cross-directional texturing. And it's so ergonomic. And they're keeping that, but they're increasing the texturing on it, making it a very nice, comfortable feel. Ambidextrous, slide stop, 15 round mag, same mags as the PPQ. Super terrain serrations both front and rear that's what walther's calling them adjustable rear sight already mentioned four inch barrel and it is optic ready cut to fit many different red dots you know you have to let them know they'll give you the proper plate and you're good to go performance duty trigger measured right around four pounds so they lighten the trigger pull and the reset is very short they did a great job with the walther PDP. I love it. This is the compact size. They make a larger one with a four and a half inch barrel, but I'm happy with this. It's also modular. So you could keep this frame and put that four and a half inch upper on there if, if that's what you want to do. So it's pretty nice. I'm really happy with what they did with the Walther PDP. Let's start with the rest. All right, Walther PDT, PDP Performance Duty Pistol was met with very much excitement a couple months ago. I know I was and a lot of other people were too. MSRP in the upper 600s, or I'm sorry, mid 600s. But over here we've got the FN 509. And this has been around a little bit longer. Uh, this is the first one they came out with. This has a four inch barrel, 17 round mags. They now make them with a uh, flat dark earth finish, a tactical version with a threaded barrel and optic ready. This is the standard 509 and this too was met with high approval in the gun world. They increased the texturing on the grip. Additional back straps are available, all ambidextrous. So this is left-handed friendly, both with the magazine release and the slide stop a hinge trigger for a uh, five and a half pound trigger pull and you're looking at right there with a reset right there they did a great job with it now this has an msrp of 679 it does have a full rail there adjustable rear sights and a fine shooter people really enjoy fn handguns i i certainly do and they, they did, uh, created a winner with the 509. I already mentioned 17 round mags. They also make a mid-sized version of this that also has a four inch barrel, but a little bit shorter with the grip. But let's go ahead and take a few shots with the FN 509. All right, as you can see, both of these handguns perform very nicely. And I very much love them both. But I have to choose one, and that's what I'm asking you to do as well. Now, I am a fan of FN. I am a fan of Walther. Nobody can deny that these are two fine companies with excellent reputations. Both align pretty well. The, the FN 509 has two additional rounds. That's worth considering both have great ergonomic feels although i'm giving it to walther for that i'm not sure which one i shot better but i do like what walther did if this was the tactical model maybe i'd go with the fn but for this comparison i'm going with the walther pdp i just love it big fan of the ppq and they enhanced it with the performance duty pistol and i also love this too but in this comparison i'm going with the walther pdp the question I have for you is, which one would you choose? If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.